My name is Max and I've spent over 10,000 hours inside DaVinci Resolve. I have edited literally every kind of video and here's the truth that I learned. I've made a lot of mistakes that wasted hours of my life, killed my projects and make my videos look amateur. So today I'm breaking down the 10 biggest ones and how you can fix them before they kill your videos too. Mistake number one, editing a video without a plan. I used to just down footage in the timeline and start cutting. It may work for Instagram reels, but not for true storytelling. Without a plan, you will end up with pure chaos. How to fix that? Well, you always have to start with the story arc, problem, journey, and resolution. Even the simplest 10 second video edit must have an idea. Structure is everything. By the way, if you wanna know more about storytelling, I have recently done a series on this YouTube channel. I have put those videos in a playlist so you can jump back there anytime. And once I said that, the second mistake is lack of organization. Messy timelines equals messy edits. I have spent hours searching for one clip I knew I had. So to fix this, you need to start using bins, smart folders, naming your clips, putting colors. Because if you organize your projects, your mind is completely free for the important stuff, which is storytelling and creativity. Even simple footage, music, and SFX bins can save hours of your life. But if you wanna skip this step, I have my free project template in the first link in the description. The third mistake is over using flashy effects. I have always thought that more effects equals better videos. The truth is that those trendy effects that you see on TikTok, they age fast, but clean cuts don't. To fix this, master invisible editing. J cuts, L cuts, match cuts, and especially you need to master pacing. If people don't notice your cuts, that's a good job, you're doing it right. The next mistake is forgetting about sound design. Me coming from music videos, I used to think that audio was secondary. I would just blast the song into the timeline and put the clips on top. And that was a huge mistake because sound is 50% of the experience. And to fix this, you need to start layering sound effects footsteps, ambiences, subtle rises. One clean cut with good sound beats 10 flashy transitions. Which leads me to the next mistake, which is bad sound leveling. Because even if your sound design is crazy and your background songs are banging, volume and sound mixing is crucial for the viewer to enjoy and understand your film. My early edits had music way too loud and dialogues heard on the tracks. And to fix this, you need to start using the loudness meter, which is a native plugin inside DaVinci Resolve. You just put it on your track and search for minus 14 loops for standard YouTube sound. Dialogue must be at minus 16 and the music around minus 20. Because balance creates clarity. Mistake number six is choosing the wrong music. I have spent hours searching for non-copyright free music on YouTube, but they didn't match at all with the story I was trying to tell. To fix this, you need to understand that your music is following your story and translating it to emotion, not following trends. And for this, you need to ask yourself, what do I want the audience to feel here? And only then choose the music. Mistake number seven is skipping color consistency. In my early beginnings, I thought that slapping a lot on every single clip is color grading, which definitely was not true. To fix your color grading, you need to start with balancing, contrast, white balance, exposure. Then you pass to grading, which is color, saturation, effects like grain and glow. And your edit must look like one single masterpiece, not 20 different cameras. But if you want me to make a video talking only about color grading, leave me a comment and I'll try to make it as soon as possible. The next mistake is not using shortcuts. Here is the one I have promised in my newsletter and I have spent hours, if not years of my life, clicking on my mouse inside DaVinci Resolve. For a lot of time now, now I have been using only the trackpad on my MacBook. Why? Because I am only using the keyboard, don't need a mouse anymore. Time is money and shortcuts are your compound interest. So please learn at least 10 core combinations like cutting, ripple deleting, playback speed, zoom in, zoom out. The faster you start implementing this, the more hours you are about to save. Mistake number nine is waiting too much to cut. In the beginning, I used to think that more footage means better videos and better stories. And I couldn't be more wrong because especially now, Attention is the currency and people are broke with that. So to fix this, you need to be brutally honest with yourself. If a clip doesn't push your story forward, just delete it. Faster means stronger. 
always. And last but not least, one terrible mistake is forgetting your viewer. Me personally, I've done it a lot. I have edited for myself. I was flexing my skills instead of actually telling my story. And that is ego editing. And to fix this, always ask yourself, if I was watching this and I was not an editor, why would I care? If you can't answer that question, neither will your audience. Well, those were the 10 mistakes I have learned the hard way after editing 10,000 hours. And I guarantee you that if you avoid these mistakes, your edits will look 10 times more professional. This is the part of my mission to help filmmakers just like you to master not just the technical side, but also the storytelling part. Because gear, LUTs, presets, effects, plugins, all that shit doesn't work if your videos don't connect. If you got value from this, hit subscribe because weekly I am dropping videos that will help you become a better filmmaker and especially faster. So I hope I'm seeing you on the next one.